All right. I mean, she, uh, does she have like a cataract or something in one of her eyes? She has the same thing that Zuko does. Ah. Uh, with Norman, I'm starting to notice like a bit of a gray haze when he looks at me in certain lights. I don't see any. I don't see any like physical things on his eyes, but I don't know if that means anything. His eyes aren't. His eyes are. He's the one on ten years old. Welcome back to. Uh, uh, what's the game about accepting the mortality of your beloved pets? Nintendo dogs. <laughs> Yeah, I really hated that part where you had to put the puppy down because oh. it got Parvo. <laughs> what is Parvo? I don't know. I just know it's a bad thing for dogs. It's like a it's like a disease. But I don't know if it's like a skin thing or what. I just know that I had this dude Ow. I had this dude that was like visiting the house. I think he was a friend of my sister's boyfriend at the time. And they all like invited themselves into my room while I was in the bathroom and I came in there and like Forget it. I had to like sh I couldn't shoo them all out like he stayed in there and he and he was tell telling me about his dog that had parvo and all I could say was man that's rough <laughs> I, <laughs> and I really did say that there's a way to get up there about yeah you can get up there if you're good but without I, having to I swear to god yeah you suck you can't, bro. It's impossible. It's impossible. They put an invisible wall there. My dad works in Nintendo. Ah! I think you glitched or something. You send that to my dad right now. Hey, water. Oh, you don't even get to go there. Just the water plant. I think he... I don't know. I mean... I don't know off the top of my head. It's been a I don't. I don't think in this level you go to that water planetoid. Fuck it. Knock it out of the way. It's a little... It's a little... Knock it, knock it. You are a totally different person when you're not in the heat, cat. Yeah, make sure they, they know you're not talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, last time Josh was in heat, whoo boy. Nah, when I was house sitting, his cat, that was exactly when his cat decided to go into heat. There we go. She Jesus. wouldn't shut the fuck up. You telling me I couldn't just jump in between those two? You probably could have. Fucking. What's the fucking gravity mass? What are you doing here? Uh, I think you jump on his head or something when he make him bump that rock. Oh, I don't know. No, gotta... Oh, oh, you gotta, you gotta use the melons or the coconuts. Who you want to stop slip sliding? There we go. I missed the nasty, scary pokies from Mario sixty four. The 2D... Yeah. Uh... The 2D ones with, like, the weird demon face. It's more accurate, Pokey. God damn. I'm fucking up because I can't fucking tell where I'm at right now. Pokey. There we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the ancient technique, the homing... butt stomp. Rainbow Luigi, you mean Gay Luigi? <laughs> gay Luigi? Mama Luigi! <laughs> and you've got a little spaghetti on your overalls. Well, fuck you, Luigi! <laughs> fuck you, why'd you look- the cat's just staring at me when you said that. <laughs> like that was my fault. Well, fuck you, Luigi! She just stares. She's not a staring problem. Yeah, she's... <laughs> she... She'll just fucking stop whatever she's doing and just stare at you for, like, two minutes straight. And eventually you'll just be like, What? What? What's, the What's going on, little bud? You got a staring problem? Dude, it's just a baby, dude. Oh, look at him. Dumb little oh, face. Dumb little face. Dude, what the camera zoom in? Yeah, they... God damn. Something, something serious, bro. It's like Dragon's Dogma. They're weak to fire! Oh, they're too bad, 
Everybody in the world is playing Dragon's Dogma now. <laughs> just because they announced the sequel. I feel like Dragon's Dogma, and I do like this game. Dragon's Dogma is one of those games that I feel like a lot of people like without actually playing it. Yeah. Which, there's a lot of things to like about it, design-wise. But... It's I can I I see it I think it's kind of hard to get into. I gotta get back into it. The beginning is very slow and boring, and sometimes people pick like the wrong class to start out with. Did I pick the wrong class? I don't know. Pick the ranger. The I don't daggers. Know. I don't, the daggers. Oh, I don't know if I don't know if daggers is wrong. I just know people who pick like mage first usually don't have fun. Yeah, but then you have people who tell you how good magic is. It's probably like, start off with a, a funner class first, and then later, when you can change vocations, change to Sorcerer or something like that. Because you don't have to really commit to any of your uh, vocations. Uh, oh my god! You only have the three vocations first, and then you have like, advanced versions of the, those vocations, and then like, the magic version of those vocations. There's like a total of nine. Um, and like, some skills that you unlock, in one vocation can carry over into another when you switch. But I can't remember what all does. But I started as like a fighter and then I went warrior, which is all like two hand swords. I, I use giant sword. Which everyone says is the most boring class, but I'm having fun. I did the same thing with uh, Dragon Age 2. Everybody says to uh, play a mage in that. My first playthrough, I did Two-Handed Sword. I loved it. It was more fun than whatever. I'm a weirdo, though, apparently, yeah. when it comes to... I mean, like, I say apparently. I... I That game just exceeded my expectations because everybody said Dragon Age 2 is just, like, a bad game. Yeah, I mean, that's always what I hear. And I don't think it's a bad game. I think it's just... Not as good. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's shit. Like, I, I, there's things about it that I, while I'm playing it, I'm like, yeah, this is kind of not like the whole. Uh, what is this? Is this Honey Hive? I hate Honey Hive. Uh, I'll play Honey Hive then. Uh, the the biggest complaint that people have about it is like it reuses the same locations over and over again. And I'll give it. I'll give them that. It does. B. Luigi takes away. It changes. Ah. So maybe all text just changes. Fuck. But, um... I'll give it. Like, yeah, they reuse those locations a lot. And that sucks. But... I like... Kirkwall. I like the, the, the idea of... Hey, you're gonna start off in this city... As a nobody. That was an M, not an L. I know. Fucking hell. Uh, you're gonna start off in this city as a nobody and work your way up through it the whole time and like you're you're in Kirkwall for like years and you see the city change and stuff. But like Kirkwall is your hub, that's where you are the whole game. I like it, but I can get why people who, you know, after Origins where you run all over a fucking Ferelden for everything, I can kind of get why people might be disappointed. But, I would it's one of those games I went into with low expectations, and I, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it probably helps. That's kind of how I was with Devil May Cry 2. Like, I thought it was going to be absolute shit. It wasn't great. I... I had fun. That's my opinion of DMC Devil May Cry now. Oh no, yeah, that was that too. Like that was my first Devil May Cry, and uh, I enjoyed it. It's a fine game. It's yeah. it's uh, the general consensus is they shouldn't have called it Devil May Cry. It did a lot of really cool things and a lot of really cringe things, but. I think stylistically it's really on point, especially with like level designs and or like visual designs. Yeah. I can do without the character design. Yeah, the characters are fucking cringy, but you know. And the combat is solid. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing really wrong with it. It's just not. It's as not. Fun. It's not fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh -oh. 
But I didn't have a frame of reference, because that was my first Devil May Cry game. No real reason. I... I had played one and four. I watched my brother play, like, the Devil May Cry games growing up. And so... And I wasn't very good at them, was the thing. Especially one. Yeah. One, I still am not good at one. I don't remember ever being good at one. I think I, think I just kind of fumbled through one. One is, uh... Whew, God. It's so difficult. One, one's a, one's a bit clunkier. Oh. <laughs> you think I should go for it? Ooh. Oh. You know you don't actually have to hit the red part. You're lying. You can hit any part of it. You're lying. Get a coin. Just make sure. You know I'm not trying to like kill you or anything. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I was lying. Oh, you bastard! I actually wasn't sure. I just wanted you to test it. You're an absolute. I think. I think that. I think. I think the uh, the red hitbox is just really generous. Yeah. Wait a minute. You. Yeah, you made the same mistake I always uh, do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time with this. Yeah. You just break all of them and then get the star in an empty room. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Oh well, indeed. There's some other game that's like that, though, where I had... I heard everybody shit all over it. Uh, Resident Evil 6. Yeah. Yes, I fucking loved Resident Evil 6. More, th more than 5. Because you didn't like 5. Yeah. It was ruined. Yeah, 5 was fucking... <laughs> I, and that's how I felt about... Five. You, you played uh, Zero Time Dilemma, right? Yeah. Wasn't that kind of the same? Like, you were disappointed by the game before it, so then... Not that it was necessarily a good game, but now you just weren't that invested and you were able to just enjoy how stupid it was. At least that's how it was for me. I... I don't think I enjoyed Zero Time Dilemma. <laughs> like, even for how stupid it was. Like, it wasn't even... I think... I was, I was upset. I was done after... Uh... Virtue's Last Reward. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When I finished Virtue's Last Reward, I was like, this is... That was awful. Yeah. I'm mad. Uh, well, I wasn't really. I wasn't as mad. I think... I think Zero Time Dilemma made me more mad than... I think Virtue's Last Reward did. I think Zero Time Dilemma was just a fun wild ride. <laughs> like, Zero Time Dilemma just... I don't even know what the fuck they were trying to go for. I barely even remember. By the end of it. I don't even understand, like, what was the fucking point? Like, they just made... ...a, a villain that we never met. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, they're like, yeah, this guy's the villain. And all the characters are like, no way! That's the villain! And I was, I was just like, I've never seen this guy! How is he the villain? I think that that game, that it should have just been 999. And I tell everybody... If they buy the Nonary games, look, you can just play 999 and you're going to get out of that just fine. Yeah, uh, I mean, has that ever worked on you, though, for any series? I know. That's the that's the thing. It's like when people are like, oh, no, don't watch past Season 3 of Dexter. And it's just like, well, I finished Season 3, but there's more Dexter. Of course I'm going to keep watching. And, uh... And then you regret it. I, I, I just tell them, like, they're still fine games. Like, it's still okay. Yeah, if you just want to solve puzzles... If you just want to solve some puzzles and shit, go for it. Uh, you are never going to reach the same fucking peaks as 999, though. Yeah. It's... <laughs> Even then, like, if people want to play 999, I still say, like, play the DS version. I can... I, I did with You'll that. have to replay a bunch of parts, but I think, like... I did without just fine. I think that part still has is a really good impact either way. You got it. sucked. You will be sucked. Dude, imagine just going dick first in a black hole. You know what uh you know what they they call um well, where am I going? You know what they call going into a black hole? Spaghettification. Yeah. It's a funny word. Maybe we're getting spaghettified. <laughs> I mean, can I like, can I like, just kind of inch towards the black hole with just my dick and then pull out at the last minute and be like, get my new twelve foot spaghettified dick? 
I yeah, I, I can I get the thing with the DS version of it. I, I, I think it's I think it's really cool. But I don't think it's worth having to not being able to skip things. I mean you you can it's not like you can't skip through the text. I mean once you beat the game you get fast text. I don't, I don't, I don't remember it being too tedious. Oh my god! It just kind of became muscle memory, solving the same like two puzzles for the, for every route. Yeah, but you on you know PlayStation PC version. Yeah, you just skip through. You can just skip to the timeline. Part. Yeah. But I wish there was like a a ROM hack of the DS version that added that. Yeah, that would be cool, but also very hard to do. It on but yeah, um, oh, they, they added voice acting, didn't they? Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. It's the same voices as uh, returning characters in uh, Utter Game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in well, in all the games. Yeah. Ver uh, Clover, um, Junpei, and whatever her name is. <laughs> um. Bubarella? Yeah. I honestly can't remember who we were talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Luigi, I like... It always bugged me that they talked in emojis in this game. Yeah. It's like, I feel like I'm being patronized. Like, they, they, like, they know that there is a very high chance that whoever's playing this game can't read. Yeah. I mean, have you ever seen the um, Mario Galaxy 2 uh, training video? Training video? It, 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 it only came out in like European versions of the game. Your name is Luigi, isn't it? Luigi. <laughs> she has to say it a lot. Uh, Luigi. Luigi. So what about this training video? Uh, I'll show it to you after the end of this video, which we're at 20 minutes. I don't know if you want to do one more level or what. Uh, let's cut it. Okay. Uh, next time... Mr. Luigi! Dear Mario, that's not... Don't be upset, Luigi. <laughs> 20, what? What? That one used to be five. What the fuck? They're fucking... I so wait, I don't get to keep them? No, they they eat them. Oh, fuck. Get... I thought that... No, they fucking... I mean, they'll be there like every time you launch the game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright. Well, yeah, next time on... Uh... Baba is you. Yeah, Baba is you. A Baba is you. It's a me, a Baba. It's a me, Baba is you.